so we talk about how databases work on the web uh, this module will cover about three chapters from the textbook and the purpose of this module is to give you an idea about what material will be covered in those three chapters so collectively those three chapters constitute about 30 pages of course uh, that is not possible to cover those 30 pages in uh, this module so this module will give you an idea what is there on those 30 pages in those three chapters so uh, this is about the story so far about what is the story the story is that over the period of time the processing power has increased for the computers the cost of the computers has gone down the cost of telecommunication has gone down the bandwidth has gone up there is a lot of uh, requirement of applications which have, which cost a lot of money for customized development and there is a requirement of having access the interface issues are there so all of these things have been fueling what the web based database applications and the, the, the trend change has been from the old dumb terminals connected to the mainframes then came the PC revolution then came the operating systems and then of course the World Wide Web so that was the story so far now dumb terminals and mainframe the issue with these uh, aspects was that the application had to take care of many things and the application was running on the mainframe the terminals they are dumb because they didn't had or had very little processing power so that terminal was the client's interface with the web server with the with the with the application server or the or the main server so to say that was several decades ago then came the operating system and came the structured programming the benefit of operating system from the application point of view was that the programmers didn't had to write the commands in the applications which were running on the server those uh, operations that power those commands were within present in the operating system and then with the availability of the structured programming there was the additional benefit of the reusability of the code so these things were fueling what we are discussing today and then came the personal computers with the personal computers the cost of the machine went down the operating system was available within the personal computer and we had that client server architecture so processing was done at the client end which was the PC and some and the main processing was of course done at the main server which was the server over there and then came the internet now the thing is that the internet came was around in 1960s since 1960s but it became popular widespread when it went out of the research organizations when it went out of the ARPA which was the uh, the department which developed the internet and it became very widespread and it was using uh, TCP IP now these protocols were not meant for e-commerce these protocols were inherently not secure not strong enough to ensure authentication to ensure validation to ensure privacy and of course the data was available on the net when it was being exchanged it means that the prospects of integrity or the issues with a person with very little skill was there for malign intentions so that is why things have to be catered for now this is the second chapter internet service providers and database service providers now try to understand that if I have my mobile phone and I am accessing the net uh, we are not talking about it we are talking about a database application which is connected to the internet right that connected to the internet my mobile phone is the client I am using it to browse the web to run uh, to uh, make use of the web application the big difference so when I have a web application that application is on my PC is on my server so do I have to connect this to the uh, internet for that I need an ISP internet service provider or I need a database service provider the database service provider where my application is running there can be many modes I will briefly go through all of them of course the details are in the main chapters and then is the database software so the database software falls into three categories one is the database software that was developed for desktop applications 
for for example uh, access for example x base now over the period of time their multitasking versions and their online versions or the network versions became available then there is the second category that was object oriented databases for example we have that uh, uh, dbs next version and we have uh, other ver visual fox pro also object oriented developed in java and then we have the high end databases for example for the enterprises like oracle like db2 like sql server so these are the databases and then we have what is called as the cgi scripts and perl common gateway interface these scripts can be written in perl they are uh, platform independent and using these scripts one can connect your my query to the web over the web it goes to the web server and from there it uh, draws the results for which i have submitted the query so i can write cgi script in uh, c i can write in c++ also and of course we can use perl for that purpose so cgi script uh, another purpose served by cgi script is that it is the glue which ties together all the components of a web based application which is a database application and then is the transitions uh as i have said before in the older client server models of course i'll talk about the second tier and third tier models also the people are used to using those models they are used to using those models they may be very inefficient as per the current trends and as per the current requirements but people are comfortable with it now when you come up with an idea of replacing those models replacing those systems you are going to face a lot of opposition so there is uh, at this point some very interesting quotation comes to my mind which is that uh, change comes with pain and if you are in not enough pain then you are not ready for change i go to the next chapter now this uh, module covers about three chapters choosing your internet service provider now the internet service provider do i need a service provider for mail to to send mail to receive mail to perform file transfer pro, uh, ftp to do do what or i need uh, for the database services so how many do i need how do i get started which is the starting point remember that using my phone i browse the web i run the application which is on the server i am talking about connecting my application which is running on my web server on my data server and i need to connect it to the internet for that i need a web server uh, and i need an internet connectivity so talking about the domain names now domain names are important domain names are important the reason being over here that this domain name carries my identity which i discussed in earlier uh, module also now using this domain name if this domain name lies within the name of the isp and i move my uh application then i have to change it with the isp that is very inconvenient so i need a domain name which is registered with me and change, changes with me and moves with me now sending mail and receiving uh, email over here remember that uh, on the internet uh, there is no uh check that i may be sending an email from an address which is not my address so for this i need to cover up and then of course these are different types of connections dial up connection uh is i connect my web server my database server with the internet service provider over a dial up line and the ip address is dynamic then of course the next is the dial up connection with static ip i get a fixed ip with static ip my ip is changing and people will have difficulty locating me over the internet but with the static ip it doesn't changes of course there are advantages there are disadvantages and there are other issues and considerations also then i have a non switched connection this non switched connection is based upon a frame delay is based upon icdn is based upon lease line and then is the co location co location and database hosting all of these things and of course e commerce and other services are also provided by the isp details when we come to those modules